The game of lacrosse originated from the Native Americans who played for more than recreation but for its legends, ceremony, and curative purposes. Living tangent of the Onondaga Native American Reservation, men's head lacrosse coach Lars Tiffany absorbed his hometown's culture as a young boy centering on lacrosse. When you grow up in Lafayette, New York, or on the Onondaga Reserve, you have a stick in your hands at a very young age. And so uh, we really didn't know anything but lacrosse. You know, we played the other sports as well, football, basketball, baseball. I played with my white friends and my native friends, uh, but we always had a stick in our hand. He's carried the culture of the Iroquois Nation into the Virginia men's lacrosse program since arriving on grounds in summer of 2016. I have maintained my connection to the roots of the game, to the, uh, the Aboriginal people, to the Onondagas, and what I learned from them, how the game should be played. Here at UVA, we play the game very fast. Frenzy, frenetic, athletic style of play. But that's how the Native Americans played it once upon a time, and still do today. For the Native Americans, the game of lacrosse is more than just a game. It's something that connects them to their creator, to the spirit world, to appease the creator. You don't do that by playing the game slow. You do that by playing fast. When making the trip to play Syracuse last spring, Tiffany wanted his players to connect with his background, immersing them into the history and tradition of their sport's origin. It was enjoyable to see them all crowded into Alfie's little shack, and we were surrounding the wood stove because it was about 10 degrees outside. But they were involved, and I wasn't sure, you know, because the history doesn't mean they need to know it. You know, it's the, there's no. Uh, there's no direct connection between beating Syracuse tomorrow and knowing this today. But I, uh, I found an inquisitiveness and a curiosity amongst the team that made me smile, that warmed my heart, and certainly be something that we continue to do moving forward when we head up to uh, Central New York to play Syracuse. After the horrific events in Charlottesville last August, Coach Tiffany once again found help from the roots of lacrosse in the form of a healing game. The purpose and the main point here was that I medicine game, a healing game, is put on by the Onondagas when there's something amiss in the community, when something's not right, or they feel that there's something wrong that the, the message to the creator is, and the creator's not happy. And what a better context here is something's amiss in our community here in Charlottesville. To have that start the game off with something completely unrelated to winning or losing our, our, our numbers or anything like that, to, to be introduced to the game, with sage and with prayer and a, just a complete different approach to the game was definitely moving, especially because so many of us can get caught up in, in winning and losing and competing and, and battling. Uh, it was interesting to see that there's a whole other side of this game that the Native American people approach it with. Coach Tiffany's history with the Iroquois Nation just adds another benefit to his coaching staff and the program he's building at Virginia. Coach Tiffany has brought in so many great values to the way that he's been coaching us and his background with being from a Native American reservation in Lafayette and the Onondaga Reservation. It's just, it just been an honor to see how, how he can include that heritage in what we do every day and show us that there's a whole different part of this game that we might forget being Division I lacrosse players.